building. Um, it's 1101 North Broadway. Uh, it was originally designed in about 1927 as a Buick distributorship. And so at that time, it had two elevators uh, and they stored uh, cars on every floor. And so uh, we've owned the building uh, since about 2007, 2008 maybe. And so it's been a little difficult to develop it because of the lack of parking. Uh, so we worked a deal out uh, with the city of Oklahoma City to do a TIF project with this building, the Marion uh, Hotel, which is just south of Cross Street, and then the building to the east of it, the Pontiac building. And so with that, we, uh, the TIF district, were able to build a parking garage to the west side of the vehicle. And by adding that parking, it made uh, all uh, three of those projects viable, uh, because without the parking, it just wasn't uh, much you could do. And so anyway, with that, uh, and in studying the history of the building, we found an old photo that shows uh, the sign that you see today. And so uh, Brian Fitzsimmons, our architect, uh, scaled it out and designed the sign that we knew would be become a landmark on Audible Valley. The photograph that was found, and it seems to be the only copy, and no one knows actually where it originated, is extremely fuzzy. So we did the best we could to get it to a, a scalable image and literally scaled it. Uh, hired a graphic designer, uh, hit design, who we worked with to research and make sure that we had the proper Buick font and, and all of those uh, logo parts. And so we think it's as accurate as it possibly can be for the time, considering there was also no standards back then. So this is the best assimilation. We think it's a really great job. And uh, I really like it because it's a landmark, not only on the end of 10th and Broadway, which demarcates Automobile Alley, but it also starts to go toward 10th Street, which the other great neon landmark over there is the Midtown Plaza Court. And it really does an awesome job of starting to visually connect these two neighborhoods. And now the next piece is really to, to activate 10th Street and all of this will become one active energy city that that's what we're all waiting for. It's awesome.